welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and today I've got a post review for you guys for Hamza White Elephant from Diamond Art Club. Dun, dun, dun. There she is. Well, and in the intro you saw her outside in the daylight. She's stunning. And really guys, the colors in this one Seeing it like this doesn't really do it justice because it's so sparkly. I really love this diamond painting. I love the special meaning that it has. And that's why I picked it for Diamond Painting It Forward. If you don't know what Diamond Painting It Forward is, I'll put a link over there so you can check out that segment on my channel. But it's all about diamond paintings with a special meaning that hope to inspire, help, heal or empower. And this one has really positive message. It's the Hamsa hand combined with the white elephant and the lotus flower. And the meaning that it has according to the description on the website of Diamond Art Club is as an ancient Middle Eastern symbol signifying the hand of God, the Hamsa hand protect all from evil. Partnered with the sacred white elephant this diamond art painting is sure to bring good luck, prosperity and strength into any home. Wow! <laughs> well, I think this it's great to gift to someone, especially when they've just moved to a new home or something like that. And I love the fact that you have the Hamsa hand, the white elephant, the lotus flower and the little house that's even in the picture itself. And it was really fun to work on and it didn't take me long at all. The most work was the background, but that's because it's white. So I took my time to place them as neat as possible. I'll bring you up close so you can see it. Look, this I multi-placed. Look, and I find these kind of things really annoying but I just keep straightening and straightening. And this I single placed. Look, that's a little neater, but still you see some gap. So all in all, that took quite a while. I think they could do this as a partial. Just leave the background and just do the elephant part. And I'll show you why I think that they should do it. Because over here I have another one from Diamond Art Club. Look, this is healing. It's a lot bigger, but it's a partial. And look, here you don't need to drill the background. You have all the fun colors. I think they look a little bit like the colors that you use in Hamsa White Elephant. Look. It's a beautiful one. It's called Healing and I'll put a link to my unboxing over there so you can go, go and check this one out as well if you like, but it's beautiful. But do you see here they don't do the background. Um, I'm going to be working on this diamond painting pretty soon guys. I think I'm going to work on it in December because I really don't have, <laughs> I don't have a Christmas diamond painting, but I think an angel uh, especially with the special meaning healing that would be a great one to do in December so once I have done this one I'll do a post review and then I'll get this one out again so we can check once this is done if I still feel the same but at this moment I feel like they, sh they, they could have easily just done this the same way that I did this so just do a partial because really I'm not a partial fan guys I really am not a partial fan but I think this is done beautifully and I think the end result will look beautiful as well and I think it's the same with this one do you agree I would really love to know what your thoughts on this are please tell me in the comments below I would really love to know and the lotus flower uh, I made a time-lapse video of that because it was my diamond painting bonbon bon. I don't know if you've seen it otherwise I'll put a link over there so you can go and check it out 
Uh, it's just a part of the painting that I save for last and I make time lapses of those parts. And also this one, the rose or the flower in there. It's really beautiful. This is really fun to do. And I have shown in one of my whip times, that's my form of whip and chat guys, um, that I single placed this part and I multi-placed those parts. And really in the end, you barely see the difference. So if you want to save yourself some time, just multi-place. This is a little straighter, but really it doesn't make a lot of difference. So, well, I... <laughs> I'm just not a fan of light backgrounds. That's just my thing. Okay, this one has 37 colors. It's a 32 by 52. So it's, for me at least, one of the smallest ones that I have done. I had a lot of leftover drills. And that, for me, is always the case with Diamond Art Club. And, well, guys, just if you're curious and want to know what I do with these spare drills, Look, okay, um, I have a system, all my square diamonds I save with this system, but the round ones, and these are rounds, um, I don't keep them, but I do like this. I empty my containers in a Ziploc bag and then our girls, we have two girls, seven and nine, they use these drills, oh look at the static, <laughs> they use these drills for craft projects and what that basically means is that they throw a lot of glue on a piece of paper <laughs> and then use these so I can mix it, mix them up that doesn't bother them at all the only ones that I do save are where are they the AB drills those are the drills that have an iridescent coating on them to make them extra sparkly and there are usually a couple of them in kits from Diamond Art Club but Hamza White Elephant only has one and these I store them in these containers. These are from Diamond Art Club. I don't use them for my normal paintings for kitting up because the containers are just a bit too small for me. But for storing these, it's perfect. And then I can use these AB drills uh, to spark up other projects if I would like to. Um, so those I save, but the other ones are all going in here. And the reason that I do keep my squares is that I have a diamond painting canvas from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and I'm going to use leftover drills for that diamond painting. So I'm not ordering drills, but I'm using the drills that I'm saving up. But the Heaven and Earth Design Crown Jewel Diamond Painting Canvases uh, are always in square. So that's why I'm saving these. But for the rounds I don't have other use for round kits. Well, maybe if uh, I was missing some kind of drill, but guys, that barely ever happens to me. I think it happened once with a square but not from Diamond Art Club so and most of my kits are from Diamond Art Club so if you I really and if if you have a problem with your drills you can send them a text and say well I'm missing drills so I'm not going to save round drills from my older sets and that makes me curious guys do you do the same do you save your drills do you save your round drills and if so uh, why just to have them or are you afraid that you might run out on other kits? Do you have perhaps a lot of um, more budget type kits uh, where perhaps you have run out of drills in the past that you're like oh I better safe than sorry. I don't know but 
I must say <laughs> that getting down round drills is really easy and really fast and I always have children who are really happy when they receive another one of these bags. So, <laughs> and I just peel off these from the containers. That's really easy, no residue, and I can reuse my boxes. Okay, right guys, that's about as much as I can tell you about Hamza White Elephant. Oh no, I have one other thing to tell you. This one isn't in part of my diamond painting stash detox. So now that I have a finish, it doesn't count for my countdown. Well, if you don't know what my diamond painting stash detox is, guys, check it out over there. That's all enough information. So this one just falls a bit in between. It didn't count as one of my whips for my diamond painting stash detox, but because the official date, start date of my diamond painting stash detox, I'll show you, is November 1st, 2021. And I started making videos for the diamond painting stash detox by the end of October, I think. Um, but I have finished this one before I went on holiday with my family and I just didn't have time to do the post review yet. So unfortunately for me, <laughs> it isn't part of my diamond painting stash detox because otherwise, guys, I could have placed a sticker over there that I had finished one. But no! <laughs> No worries, I'm still really happy that I did this one. And uh, well guys, if you like to see more of these kinds of videos or if you like to follow along on my diamond painting stash detox or if you've got any questions regarding healing, well, I hope that you keep continuing following my channel. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed yet, well, maybe consider subscribing to my channel for more of these kinds of ramblings for me about diamond paintings. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys! I store in the container... <laughs> okay, are they okay? Yeah, oh, <laughs> Okay, that's a blooper. <clears throat>